<laughs> Hello and welcome to another video for the CTrader trading platform. Today I'm going to discuss modifying orders and positions. I'm going to show you how to do this using the chart in front of you that you can see. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually increase the uh, text size so you can see this easier. Just bring it up to 110%. Okay, there you go. So what I'm going to do is just open up a market order. Um, the video that we did previously um, gave more in-depth details of how to create a market order. So I'm just going to create a basic order now using create order. Oh, I'll drag the screen across. This is just a basic order window, no stop loss, no take profit, quantity of, that's a bit high actually. I'm going to create my quantity of 0.0. I know I'm going to put it actually because I want to do a demonstration. Quantity of um, one lot, I am going to do that. Okay, one lot on this account, it's quite large actually. It's a bit, I'll probably get a warning. Okay, it's now placed an order. Now straight away, what you'll see is an order has been placed at the price that you specified where, where the price was at that time. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just show you what you can do on the chart. So I'm going to stick to a single order for now. Um, this will also work with multiple orders being placed on the same chart. So if you hover your mouse over the um, icon, the, sorry, the text here, you can see this is your order on the chart now. It's this long line here. This is where your order was placed. Now, as your price moves away from it, your order line will stay the same. So if I click onto the one minute chart, um, you can see your order is there. And I'm going to get rid of the uh, one of the, I'll just bear with me for one second, viewing options to get rid of one of the lines. Okay, so what you can see, that was just a bid ask spread. So you can see that my position went in at this price here. So 1.1125, but the price has dropped and gone below, but the, the position is there, which means that's why I'm gonna be, if I click on the positions window down here, you can see I'm 0.09 or around about 0.1 pip. Oh, it's gone up now. And the reason there's a high net loss is because I used a very large position size. You wouldn't normally do that. You do it as 0.01 on a, say a 1000 um, unit uh, account balance. You can see I've only got 429 at the top. So you can see it's dropped down further here. Now what you would do, what you can do is move your stop loss anywhere you want on the chart after you've placed the position. So I could hover on the stop loss there and I can now drag it below this structure here and leave my stop loss there. I can now also adjust my take profit. Where would I want my take profit to go? So I can just choose anywhere you want. So your stop loss and take profit, um, you would decide that on your strategy. These would be pre-planned. Um, so this allows you to adjust your take profit and stop loss on the fly as the price is changing. Um, sometimes it's a bad idea because you have a preset plan of where you want to put your stop loss and take profit and sometimes you keep readjusting it. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's just showing you how to adjust it. And in here you can see it says stop loss. This stop loss is, point, is uh, minus 7.3 pips um, away from the price. And if the stop loss was hit, you would lose or I would lose $73. Now again, the take profit is 4.6 pips away. If it was to hit the take profit, I'd win $46. This just gives you an idea of how, how that works. Now, if you go to the right here, it's got four buttons. There's a shield, there's this one, this one, and this one. If you wanna know what they are, it's also shown down here. So this one here is your reverse position. This one here is to double your trade, and this button here will close your position. So for what I'm gonna show you to start, that's probably gonna hit the uh, take profit in a minute. If you wanted to double your position, you would just click on there. Okay, and that would double your position from uh, one lot to two lots. Um, if you were to click on there, it would reverse the position. I'll just quickly show you now. It would lock in the profit. So it'll close the position, lock in the profit I've got there, which is like $10, and open up a uh, sell position. I'm just going to do it anyway. Okay, it's opened up a sell position now. Straight away, because the spread, I'm, I've lost uh, a certain amount. A bid ask spread. So now I can adjust the stop loss and take profit again. I can go to the history window, and it will show you the position that would close just then. Um, going back to the positions now. So, okay, so now I've opened up a new one, which is a cell, um, which is going in the opposite direction now. And again, I can set my uh, take profit there and put my stop loss anywhere I want. Now, we've just showed you there how to do a reverse. So to quickly reverse a position, if you feel it's going against you. Um, the other button there is to double the position size. Now, if I do that, it will have a two, I probably get a margin call because I've got, it's too large. But what it would do, it would um, create a new order, which is um, double the amount. So it'd be two lots in the same direction with the same take profit and stop loss. And again, if I click on the X, it will actually close the position. Now, the one at the start that I didn't show you here, the shield, if I click on that, that's advanced take profit. Now, advanced take profit, that's what I wanted to show you. So I could say, when I'm uh, two pips up, I want to close 
because um, it's one lot, I can do 0.25, which is a quarter of the volume or a quarter of the, of the size of the position. I want to close it two pips in profit. When it's, um, I can, for example, when it's three pips in profit, I want to close another 0.25. Okay, now if I did this, it's not letting me do that. 0 0.25. Okay, now if I do this and apply, oh, it's already two pips. The reason it's not allowing me to do that is because it's already two pips in profit. If you look down here, it's 2.8 pips. So the whole idea is, I think you get the idea is if I set a value here, say that is 10, that is four, is that is 10. So what that would do at four pips in profit, it would close a quarter of your position size, 0.25 lots. When it gets to 10 pips profit, it will close another quarter and the remainder will run until it hits your final take profit. Now, if you have a look on here, your take profit itself is behind your advanced take profit. So you really want to do your hard take profit to here. That's a server side take profit. Now, these advanced take profits you've got here, okay, which is the five pips and the 10 pips now, uh, what will happen, I'll just explain it one more time. As the price drops, it will hit the first advanced take profit and it will close uh, 0.25 lots, so a quarter of your volume. Um, the profit would be $13. It will lock in that, that profit. It will continue to run with the remainder of the volume. When it hits your second advanced take profit at 10 pips, it will close another quarter of your position size, 0.25 lots, lock in, in another $25, um, and then the rest will run to hit your final take profit with $154. Um, alternatively, if it hits your stop loss, you lose this amount. Now, <clears throat> the advanced take profit, if I double click on it, oh, I just click on the shield again. Now, the advanced take profit, as they state here, you need C Trader running and connected to the internet for the advanced take profit to work. Whereas your take profit, your standard take profit, which is here and at the top and your stop loss at the top, you can close C Trader and they will automatically be, back, be managed on the server, on the remote cloud server. So you could you don't have to have C Trader run in for your stop loss and take profit, but you do need C Trader to run for your advanced stop loss and take profit. Now I'll go back into the advanced again. You've also got an advanced stop loss. Now what this means is when your stop loss, when you move, when you're something like two pips in profit, um, sorry, I'll start again. When you're gaining 10 pips, it will move your stop loss to break even and then it will add another two pips to cover any financial loss and stuff like that. So if I click on this, what it's done now, it's actually um, set up a stop loss, a trailing, to, uh, sorry, uh, a break even. I'll go back into it and explain it a bit, bit better than I am actually. Sorry about that. So what it's going to do, it's actually a break even stop loss. So um, it's stating that um, if your position goes to 10 pips in profit, it will move your break even. And now you don't see it on the chart, it's hidden from the broker. It gets managed by the um, trading platform. Again, you've got to leave it running for it to work. Um, so it's a standard break even stop loss with additional pips to cover any um, costs that might be involved with opening the position. So you could have a financial break even, okay? So I'll apply that now. I have to count to that because I didn't change anything. Okay, so that's just set up there for a single position with advanced take profit. Okay, I'm gonna close that one now. That's close the entire position there, okay? So now that's just positions. Um, sorry if I was fuddling it a bit there because it's quite difficult doing the video sometimes. So what I'm gonna do now is orders. So I click on the orders tab and I wanna create an order. Now what I'm gonna do to create an order is a, is a method, I'm just gonna drag a limit order at the top there. Okay, sell limit order's just been placed above the price, hasn't been hit yet. Now this order hasn't been filled yet. It's something that you've placed hoping that the price will eventually reach it. I can then set my stop loss up there, my top loss, to, uh, take profit down there. And again, you can modify an existing order before it's been filled. And once it's been filled and it becomes a position, then you can take, you can start using the advanced take profit and all the other features that I just showed you previously. So if you wanted to edit this, you could double click on the little thing there and it will come up with your order details. And in here, Oh, it's filled. So now it's become a position. That's great because I didn't want that to happen really because I want to show you an order. So what I'm going to do is just close this again and open up another um, sell limit order. Oops, I put it in the wrong place because I didn't drag it, it put it at the price. My fault. So I'm just going to drag it a bit higher this time so it doesn't get filled so quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to double click to look at modify position. Okay, so this is it here. You can also do it down here with the little um, settings icon. 
just click on it and it will come up your order panel. And from your order panel, you can set the quantity, the price, when you want it to expire. So what I explained in the previous video about um, creating orders, this is pretty much the same actually. It's just creating an order, but you're modifying an order that's already been placed. So the order has been placed, you're just modifying it because it hasn't actually been filled. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty straightforward. That's how you modify your positions and orders while using CTrader. Now, if you had multiple positions open, it's the same. So I'm just gonna quickly do that as a quick demo. I'm gonna create um, a buy order and I'm gonna create a sell order. Now, again, with my buy order and sell order, because they're close together, it's difficult to see. You can move your stop losses and take profits anywhere you want. So again, there's multiple orders on the chart. You can keep adjusting them like this. And you can also do all the advanced take profit for each one individually that I showed you previously. So if you go down here, also this window down here, um, I didn't show you, but you can actually adjust them all from here. So you could quick trade here, manage your positions from down the bottom here. And also one last feature I want to show you, say you wanted to close all your positions, things are going against you. You just click close all positions and they all close. That's it, that's the video. Um, I hope you found it useful. And if you haven't watched the other videos, we have other videos on how to create market orders and pending orders. Um, have a look at our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll get access to all of the C Trader tutorial uh, videos, okay? Please give me a thumbs up at the bottom if you do like the video. Thank you very much.